thank you so much for joining us, Allison. Sure. Um, Thanks. Can you talk a little bit about the clinical informatics consult service and how that process has been going. Sure. So, um, by way of background, I'm a research scientist at the Center for Biomedical Informatics Research, working with Nigam Shah. And um, one of the products, I, sh I guess you could say, of the research we do in the lab most recently is this clinical informatics consult, which is a service that we provide to clinicians who work here in the Stanford healthcare system. And the service allows clinicians who are faced with a clinical situation for which um, evidence-based guidelines are not applicable to ask us if we have information about patients similar to the patient motivating their question in our clinical data warehouse and whether or not we can, and then if we, if we do, we are able to um, search that information to identify the outcomes that those patients had, if there were differences in outcomes for different treatments that similar patients were given, um, in order to provide information about whether there is one treatment that may have had a different effect than another, for example. So that's one type of analysis that we um, support in the consult service. Um, broadly, the motivation is that we know that there is a dearth in the clinical evidence available when making care decisions. And if we can try to fill the gap between that evidence and the information that is needed to make clinical decisions by searching electronic health records, um, then that's a win for us and that's sort of the ultimate goal of the service. And you've been live for kind of almost a year now and had already right. a few kind of big wins. Could you talk a little bit about those? Yeah, sure. So this uh, initial phase is a pilot study for one year and it will end toward the uh, end of summer where we, our goal is to uh, do 100 consults and our study participants in this uh, uh, trial period are clinicians themselves, um, where we, uh, in addition to providing the consult service, uh, ask for their feedback at the end of the process to determine whether or not it was useful for them, whether or not the information we provided impacted clinical decision, and uh, if they would use the service again. And so, uh, in the course of offering this pilot um, and doing more than 60 consults now, there have been a variety of uh, success cases, um, ranging from providing information that the clinician didn't have before through to actual changes in um, uh, care for future patients as a result of some of the um, consults that we've done. So uh, one example, without going into much detail, uh, there was a, a question about uh, the uh, concordance or discordance between two tests that are done for patients presenting with a set of symptoms. One of those tests was quick and easy to do. One of them took more time. And so the question was whether or not the test results when you do both were concordant with each other. And if so, that would mean you could use the quick and easy test more frequently instead of having to wait for the results of this more complex and longer uh, uh, test. And in fact, what we found was that there was not a, a significant concordance between the test results. Oh, wow. And so if you were to use one of those tests all of the time, you would potentially miss patients who have a condition that needs um, treatment. And so we were able to give that information. And, and as a result, they, my understanding now use the um, longer, more complex test m more often um, wow. to resolve these cases of clinical uncertainty. And w where do you see this going forward? What's kind of the next step? Right, so um, we are in, as well as um, assessing whether or not this service is useful here at Stanford, are um, interested in writing a guidebook, so to speak, for how such a service could be uh, deployed elsewhere and what would be the personnel needs, what would be the resource needs, the IT needs, and so on. And so 
that's one major um, goal for us as well, is to make it possible for other hospitals, for other health systems to utilize and or to deploy and use such a service at their sites as well. Um, obviously, an open question is how to uh, fund mm -hmm. such a service and how to make it uh, uh, easy to incorporate into, say, clinical workflow. Um, this is still an open question, and that's part of the research that we hope to do as well going forward. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Allison. Sure. Thanks.